Welcome back to Andrea Jean Cleaning. Today we are going to be cleaning my toilet. Look at how disgusting that is. This transformation that you are about to see is going to be super satisfying. Now you may be thinking to yourself, why would I need to clean the tank inside my toilet? If you want your toilet to last longer and you want the parts to stay intact longer, you want to clean all this rust and lime and debris and mold out. Also, this can accumulate smells because of all the bacteria, so we are going to clean this out. Also, because you know we like to do it all, this toilet is pretty disgusting in there. We are going to be cleaning this as well. I'm going to be showing you some. There we go, autofocus. Some tricks and tips to do this all with one household product, my friend. We're gonna be cleaning the brush. And I'm gonna also show you something else that you can clean in your bathroom using vinegar. Now I have just this cleaning vinegar that I got from the Dollar Tree. This is 20% more acidic than distilled vinegar. So I do like this for cleaning purposes only. Also, um, let's see, on the back here, it gives you some other examples of things that you can use this particular vinegar with. Household, kitchen, bathrooms, doorknobs, furniture, trash cans. That reminds me, I should probably clean out my trash can too. I just have the spray bottle here that we're gonna be using for the inside of this toilet. And down here, and we got some cleaning gloves as well. Now, if we are not friends on Instagram, make sure you hit me up there at Andrea Jean one I teach women how to turn their passions into profits, and this cleaning channel right here is one way that I do that. There's also a freebie in the description box if you want to learn more. All right, let's get started. Okay, don't mind the piano in the background. My daughter's practicing just up here, but first thing that we're gonna do to drain the water out of this tank is we're gonna need to shut off the water. So I'm just gonna go ahead and turn the handle here. Hi. <laughs> Hi, sweetie. And we are gonna get this shut off. <laughs> okay, go practice. Okay. So now that it's all shut off, I'm gonna go ahead and flush this toilet. Okay, so I went ahead and flushed the toilet two times and the tank is pretty much drained. There's probably just maybe a quarter cup of water there at the bottom. But I'm gonna take my spray bottle here and I am going to spray this a lot. And I'm gonna get this vinegar, this cleaning vinegar all over in there. While I do this, I'm gonna plug some other videos that you might find helpful here on this channel because it's all about cleaning and organizing. I have videos related to grout, actually two to three videos where I try different methods for cleaning my grout, how to clean and freshen up your mattress. I know that's something that's easy, easy to forget. I have videos related to how to clean your oven racks, two of those, how to clean your oven grates and the tops of your oven. So lots of lots of goodies in the description box for you. Okay, so get this all sprayed up. Well, I like this, this is good. And what I'm gonna do, I'm actually gonna be taking my kids for a walk here soon for about an hour. You could let this sit overnight, but I just wanna show you by letting it sit for about an hour, the magic that happens. Let's get in there too. Let's get some of the vinegar in that water. So while that vinegar is sitting in there, we're gonna move on to this part of the toilet. Like I said, you can essentially clean your entire bathroom with vinegar and vinegar alone. And I love it because it is an all natural product. So I'm gonna spray up in here. You can see there's some pink around the rim. Get in there really, really good. And down in here. Very good. And I think I'll do just a little bit more. Okay, now I'm gonna show you a little hack, especially if you have a ton of grime that is stuck up, stuck up underneath, oh, that's a mouthful, stuck up underneath here in the toilet. All right, so here's a little hack. I'm just gonna get my gloves here. I don't wanna get anything on my rings or my nails or that sort of thing. We're gonna go ahead here, get these on, and then what you're gonna wanna do is take some toilet paper, just like so, and then just kinda wad it up a bit, and you're gonna stick 
stick it up in the rim of the toilet. So I'm gonna get a little wet here to begin with so that it will stick better. And you'll just go ahead, place it up in there, and I'll get you in here really close in a second. And you're gonna do this all around your toilet. And this is gonna work so, so well. Again, you probably have vinegar. You can use regular distilled vinegar too, if that's what you have. Or if you have a Dollar Tree and you wanna get some of this cleaning vinegar, they probably sell it at Walmart or Target too. And get that up there. And I'll do one more here and then I'll get you in really close so that you can see. Right up in there. Perfect. All right, let me wash my hands and I'll bring it down here. There you go, all stuck up in there. Nice little barrier. That one should get pushed up a little bit more. But as you can see, my rim isn't too terribly dirty up there, but I know it's really easy for things to collect. So this is one strategy for you. Now let me do one other thing here. I'm going to grab my toilet brush. This is dry, so no worries. And I will be cleaning and sanitizing the sink after this. Now you could totally immerse this in a vinegar bucket of water if you wanted, or you could go like this, or I could fill this up if I wanted to, to make a little vinegar bath, to kill bacteria and smells. This is one idea for cleaning your toilet brushes if you do not have the disposable ones. I have both. <laughs> So I'm gonna get that totally immersed and we're gonna let that soak for the same amount of time that all of this good stuff is soaking. And while we're here, because I'm telling you all the good things that vinegar can do, not only remove rust and lime, but you can use it as a glass cleaner. This is awesome. Don't mind the, the baby bump. I do feel better about cleaning with all natural products being pregnant. So you're just gonna to wanna to go ahead and spray your mirror down. I'm just gonna grab this towel here. And this is awesome for streak-free shine. And see, I'm just using a towel here which could have a lot of lint and dust on it and see how well it still is able to clean up all of those spots. I'm telling you, vinegar is like magic. I recently did a video about how to clean your bathtub with vinegar and baking soda, so I will have that video uh, linked as well with the whole playlist so you can take a peek there. But. And I don't mind the smell of vinegar. It actually evaporates pretty quickly. So there we go. I mean, that's even better than Windex. Um, there is a product that I really love called Sprayway because it's just fun. It's like a foam. Um, but yeah, this works really, really good as a window cleaner. So it has been about one hour here. Let's see how well this comes off. I'm gonna grab my gloves again, and then I'm just gonna use this little green sort of scrubby pad here to see what we're working with. So I'm gonna try to do this one-handed because I wanna get you in there good and close. Okay. Woo-wee! See that? Easy. Wow, that is just melting off. I'll show you a before picture again here in just a second. Let's get the back there. So easy. Wow. Okay, I'm gonna put you down, I'm gonna scrub in here, and when I'm done, I will give you an approximation of how long it actually took for me just to scrub that down. So I got the tank all scrubbed, but before I flush it, I wanna get in here as well, but look at it, it's just melting off that grime. So I'm gonna go ahead and do a little light scrubbing, and then I will just flush all this down at once. I'll be sure to turn the water back on, and I will grab my brush there that is in the sink soaking, and let's see what we did here. Here we are, I'm just gonna dip it in here. You see how easily that comes off? 
so good. Yes. I'm doing this one-handed too. <laughs> okay, I'm just gonna go like this. And get the back here. And again, this was just sitting for an hour. Now, if you don't have a lot of built up residue or lime, you could just use this as a regular old cleaner as well. Okay, and I'm thinking, just based on what I'm seeing here, I'm just gonna set this here for a second. I may need to go in one more time because you can see those streaks in the back. I may need to go in again. Just let it sit a little bit longer, but let's go ahead and turn this water back on. Okay, let's go ahead and give it a good flush. All right here, so I did flush it a couple times. Look at how much nicer that looks. There's a little spot back there. Uh, that I couldn't quite reach. I couldn't see when the water was so filthy, but you can see all of the sediment and particles have um, settled down here. And so what I'll do is I'll go ahead and get those out. But it looks so much better. I'm wondering if I even needed to scrub at all. I'm sure it definitely helped. I did very minimal scrubbing, probably two minutes worth, I would say. But again, I'll need to just get this pile that's all loose out there. But if I look in the toilet, it's looking so much better. And I will go in one more time. I will probably line the back of this with the vinegar and the toilet paper so that it can really sit. As you saw, I didn't really do any over here. It was just on this side of the toilet. And on this side of the toilet, it's looking much better. <laughs> Finally, that sound has uh, simmered down there. But if you enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button, and then check out all those videos in the playlist below. I also have a ton of clean with me videos, so if you wanna take me along your house and clean together, it's kinda like having a workout buddy. Sometimes doing the mundane things like cleaning is boring by yourself, but put me on your iPad, your TV, your phone, whatever device that you have, and. We'll go ahead and clean together. Thanks so much for being here, and I will see you in the next one.